Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded, I think, for some time. I think I'm going to scrap the upload schedule and then just upload whatever because I need the creativity and the... Um, I need the uh, inspiration to upload. I've only just woken up. I'm sorry. Oh. And I thought I'd do something quite interesting and different, inspired by one of my favourite ever SMR videos, which is Tiara Diago's uh, Netflix browsing video. And I notice I talk to myself a lot um, while scrolling on um, Netflix and um, other streaming services, but basically while scrolling on Netflix. So I, I thought I'd just do that and I've just got up, got the house to myself for a bit. So um, here I'm on... Uh, Netflix so I'm just gonna go through and just you know sort of talk about things find something to watch with my day off so Groundhog's Day is the first that comes up that's a great movie obviously uh, is that my list it's just Dexter which I need to watch that looks great Monk as well which that was recently added to Netflix that's really cool I need to watch it um, what else is on here? Hannibal, Breaking Bad. Ah, I love Breaking Bad, but am I the only one who thinks that, like, it's not the greatest show of all time or anywhere close? Like, it's a good show, definitely, but I, I, I don't know. I think the first three seasons were great, but season four I thought was quite boring. I, I, it, it ended well, though. Uh, season five was great, so it's a great show. It's just not my favourite. Mindhunter. Need to watch mine. Yeah, I'm not uh, a massive. Sorry if you hear my stomach. By the way, sorry, I'm eating anything. Uh, but I'm not a massive fan of um, David Fincher. Honestly, I like Fight Club. Zodiac's kind of cool, but I just don't really like his stuff. But Mine Hunter looks really interesting, and it's also what's his name from Hamilton, Jonathan Groff. Oh, Seinfeld, you know, one of my first ever favourite shows when I, like, properly started watching TV. Better Call Saul, that's a fantastic show. I love Better Call Saul. Friends, uh, that's my opinion on Friends. Uh, I don't think it's bad, but... Uh, but, like, Matthew Perry was always the best. <laughs> I am very much like Chandler, everyone always says. And Chandler was always funny. I don't hate Friends, I, I don't dislike it, but I'm just not a mega fan of it. Um, uh, Star Trek TNG, oh no, the rest of you. <laughs> my, my, my gran used to watch that with Ice T in it, which is quite funny to me, I don't know. Oh, The Gentleman, great. Guy Ritchie has done a spin off of that awful movie he made, which was the exact same as every other awful movie he's ever made. Because not only is he a talentless director, he's also. A repetitive talentless director director. The Office. I've um I think I've warmed up to the office, but I don't I used to really hate the office. I still don't think it's really great, but I don't think I hate it anymore. Uh like as much as I used to. I think I've been able to appreciate it a bit more now. Ripley. I was gonna call him um, Tom Scott then Andrew Scott, because Tom Ripley's the character, it's not Tom Scott, that's um the YouTuber. Ron Livingston, Loud Milk, that's a pretty decent show. I mean, Skins, that's a classic British show. Seasons 1 and 2 are. That's getting bringing back flashbacks. The Big Bang Theory, now that is an awful show. I don't care. The Big Bang Theory is so bad. I've, if anything, just grown to dislike it more and more as I get older. And I always disliked it. I never liked The Big Bang Theory. Uh, it's so funny. Cowboy Bebop. Everyone tells me I should watch that, but I don't like anime. But 
the one does look quite cool. Uh, Jason Bateman. Oh, his arc. That's a, that's a good fucking actor there, man. Yeah. It's always sunny. I should probably watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia at some point. Uh, but I've only ever seen clips of it. <laughs> Jeez, I should probably eat something. My stomach's rumbling. You probably can't. Ty doesn't pick it up from there. Gilmore Girls, that's a classic. Knuckles. Theme song for the show is so good. Young Sheldon. Ash vs. Evil Dead. I, I never I never watched um, that episode. That show beyond the first episode. I should probably watch that at some point. Ash vs. Evil Dead. Which is, um, I love those movies. Taskmaster. You know, I don't, I don't really get that show, honestly. Like, I get it, I know what it is, and I've watched it, but it's funny, but I don't think it's like, people act like it's the funniest thing ever. I just don't get that at all. I think a lot of it, it comes down to Americans as well, who've never seen anything like it, because, you know, our TV shows are probably quite different. Speaking of another good show I've never got, why everyone thinks it's so great, there's also Peep Show here, which is funny, but it's not the best thing ever. Superstore, featuring no Oscar nominee, America Ferrera. That show's a classic. Yeah. I mean, most of these are things I never would watch in a million years, like The Crown. I don't have any interest in it. I don't like the royal family. I never have liked the royal family. I especially don't have enough interest to watch a damn show about them. Stranger Thing. The most overrated television series ever. Season 4 is like the worst season of television I think I've ever watched. I think I just sat through all of it because it was popular at the time and because, well, I have a thing for Maya Hawk. As does probably most people, it's not really unique. Trail Park Boys, everyone always tells me I look like Bubbles, which I appreciate that because Trail Park Boys is classic. Um, Someone was told me I look like the three guys all stitched together. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that. I, I can see that, to be honest. I, I do get that. You're Rick and Morty, that's another overrated show. The End of the Fucking World. I remember when that came out. It was like a big thing. And I've never heard anybody talk about it since it came out. But Graham Clarkson did the music for it. So maybe it's decent. Evangelion. No thank you. I'm gonna go down here. So my list. What have I got on my list? Dexter, Mindhunter, Le Depart. See, here's the thing I don't like about Netflix is the fact that like their movies are always super basic, but then like, they'll have this random French movie from the late '60s with Jean Pierre Lou in it. So I've got that on my list. Sort of thing you see on the Criterion Channel. Oh yeah, Batman animated series is on Netflix now. Which is great. Uh, Red Rocket, I've been meaning to watch that. I've never actually watched the Sean Baker film. I've just known it was like his letterbox reviews. But I know um, Ivy Walks could be in his next movie, so. Um, top secret UFO projects to classify. I, I, I'm a huge fan of aliens and conspiracy theories and stuff, so that's the only reason that's on there. Bardo, I didn't watch that. I really should watch that. By, it's by Alejandro G. Inaritu, I think it's your parent. I pronounce his name. The guy did Beard Man. That looked really good. I just never got around to it. <laughs> Speaking of Maya Hawk, Do Revenge. It's literally only in my list for one reason. And that reason is Maya Hawk. Um, though I, I like those like 90s teen comedies anyway. So, you know, I, I do enjoy those. So there's another one, Odette. I pronounce it. It's like a Swedish art house drama. On like the 50s or something. The Criterion Channel literally has that film. Andy Warhol, documentary Andy Warhol. See, I just add things to my list and I don't really expect to watch them because I don't watch documentaries and docuseries at all, but I guess just because I like Andy Warhol. Tick Tick Boo, that was a great movie. 
Mank, that was a mediocre movie. The Forest of Love. Call Me By Your Name, that movie sucks. Uncut Gems, I still haven't watched that movie. <laughs> what did Jack do with David Lynch? That was classic. For some reason, Jaws is on my list. Gonna be fun to watch in the summertime. Super bad, classic. Marriage Story, I've never got around to watching Marriage Story, but I'm not particularly a fan of Noah Baumbach. I like his early movies, that's about it. American Gangster. Jeez, these are all going bad. These are like things I added to my list like five years ago. Good Will Hunting, Pulp Fiction. That's probably come on and off Netflix like 10 times between when I actually first put it on and when not. I've also had to mute my TV because you can't hide on that because anymore it plays a preview before everything, which is so annoying. You got New Dune on here. That would be interesting for people who want to watch Dune. However, I don't want to watch Dune. Um, well, we got Top Gun Maverick. That was a great movie. I watched Top Gun Maverick in cinemas. That was fantastic. Great movie. We got Baby Driver. I hate that movie. Rush Hour, that's a classic. Here, I need to watch here. You still haven't watched that film. We got The Mexican, <laughs> Brad Pitt, and Jim and Gandolfini. Venom, I've already seen like, that movie on TV several times. And that was enough for me. <laughs> a Quick and the Dead, is that Gene Hatton in that one? Yeah. Oh, that was Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi did that movie. I had no idea. Rebel Moon. Even Snyder fanboys like that movie. Let's see, a lot of these like binge worthy TV programs, House of Cards, I'm surprised they still promote that. Yeah, it says on the new starring Golden Globe Award winner Robbie Wright. Nobody watched that show for Robbie Wright. They watched that for the one, the only, Kate Spacey. Who is <laughs> not a good person, of course. But no, that's why. But I can't pretend that Kevin Spacey isn't a really good actor. <laughs> David Duchovny show there, Aquarius. Well, I love David Duchovny. I'm not straight, but like, if I was, I'd still be gay for David Duchovny. Netflix doesn't really have much on the 13 Reasons Why. <laughs> that was a terrible show, I watched all of it. It was really funny though. Thrillers, Talented Mr. Ripley, Copland, whatever that is, with De Niro, and Slice the Loon, and Kaitel, Leo too. Yeah, Marco Rappaport was saying it, no thanks. Um, Reptile. Yeah, that was um, quite popular. It has Alicia Silverstone in it, which is really interesting. It also has Sky Ferreira in it. I'm pretty sure the guy who directed it did, like, Gary Thin's embarrassing music video, I think, or something. The Guest. I need, I'm going to add that to my list. I need to watch The Guest with Dan Stevens. It's my list. Red Eye. That's a great movie. Kelly Murphy. Primal Fear, that's one of Richard Gere's best. No, see, I know it's brilliant in that movie. Layer Cake, it's basically like a better version of the movie Guy Ritchie's been trying to make his entire career. Tony Brasco, Gino. Gone Girl, it's another terrible movie. I don't understand the hype behind it at all. Um, oh, Inside Man. Oh, that's my list. I'm trying to watch more Spike Lee movies. I love Do the Right Thing. The Pale Blue Eye. I watched that when it came out. Mainly because it had uh, Julian Anderson and I'm a big X-Files fan. <laughs> Red State. Isn't that Kevin Smith? Yeah. It's no way you like that movie. Girl with Dragon Tattoo, the original better. Daryl Craig's great in that. Um, I've got the new Scream on here. 
which this this, this is like a, a sequel. I had no idea there was a Scream Six. I, I did not know there was a Scream Six till the other day when I read there was going to be a Scream Seven. I was like, what do you mean a Scream Six? Um, Star Trek, the original Star Trek. That's a great, great show. Original Star Trek still holds up so well, I think. King Richard. I don't know this. Uh, also, his first Oscar went completely overshadowed by something else, which occurred in the nerd. <laughs> Awakenings. It's got a Felicia Hoffman. I'm pretty sure he's in that movie. I think. Or am I thinking of um, oh, the other one? Robin Williams, where he's a doctor. That's what I'm thinking of. That's what I'm thinking of. I don't think he's in that. He's there as well. In Moneyball. I've never watched Moneyball, but I love baseball. I think the Yankees are doing quite well at the moment, aren't they? I actually haven't checked for a little bit. I've been quite busy. Uh, and to actually watch a game, lb.com, you need to pay like £30 a month. I don't have that kind of money. I'm unemployed and I don't make money from YouTube. So I don't have the money to be worth. I mean, I, I, realistically, I probably have the money accumulated after all these years in my bank, but I don't want to spend it. Uh, but last time I checked, the Yankees were doing really well. They're the team I support because I'm basic. Because I should have been born in New York. I was just born in the wrong place. Kicking and screaming. Not the Will Ferrell one. The Noah Baumbach one. I, so, I love that movie so much. If you, if you have Netflix and you're in the UK, look up Kicking and Screaming from 1995. So funny. So funny. It's such a good movie. There's a character called Max, played by one of my favourite actors, Chris Eigman. And, uh, oh, he's basically just me in that movie, which is great. I might go on to, like, Disney+, Plus because I've pretty much watched all, looked through all these here. Uh, Green Book, that was a terrible movie. Squid and the Whale was good. That was probably the last good bound back. Like, Clone Tyrone, <laughs> such a funny title. In the Loop. Pretty Woman. The Hangover. Step Brothers. There's a no in that, Johnny. White Chicks. Never understand why people... Like, I, I, I thought everybody hated that movie. Then I found out recently that for some reason people like that movie. And it's one of the worst things. That was it. Uh, when I was in college, I was on a film course. And there was someone in the class who was defending white chicks and said how much they loved it. And I was like, oh, that's how unserious this course is. I love a good comedy, but white chicks is just a horrible movie. It's so unfunny. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, that's a great movie. I don't even like Tarantino, but that is a great movie. The Big Short. Four Lions, that's a great film. Unbearable weight of Massey Tarn. That was so bad. So bad. Human Traffic. That's a great British film. That's one of the few good movies we've made in like the last 30 years. <laughs> Definitely recommend that. Ghostbusters is a classic. I'm um, going to go on to a Disney Plus now. Ghost is a Disney Plus. I hope the notes like other songs, but I don't really do ASMR based on sound. Like my kind of ASMR I like is talking ASMR. You know, I, I like hearing people talk. My Disney Plus profile is called Gonzo and it's got a picture of Gonzo from the Muppets on it. It used to be something else, but I can't remember what it was. Tracker. What's that? Wait, that's that's Green Arrow. That's Green Arrow from Smallville. It's Justin Hartley. That's cool. Glad he still gets work. X-Men, the 97 cartoon. This is Disney now, so. Desperate Housewives, Malcolm in the Middle. These are all some bangers right here. <laughs> Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour, Taylor's version. It says new to Disney Plus, but I swear half of the like American Horror Story has been on Disney Plus for like ever. I don't think that's new whatsoever. 
continue watching The Simpsons. We all love The Simpsons. I've also been re-watching re Buffy, apparently. That was months ago. Season 2, episode 2. Next Files, because that was on the last episode. And I watched it, which was so bad. Actually, the last episode wasn't horrible, but yeah, the rest of it wasn't good. My name is Earl. I need to watch that. Like, properly. Angel. I love some of Angel, and I hate some of Angel. It's a really strange show. Attack of the Clones, I won't even watch it apparently. I think it's because, yeah, me and my brother, um, we're watching, uh, we, we, we rewatched every Star Wars movie, and then a year later we did it again, but we just watched Phantom Menace, realised we actually kind of liked that one, and then just never got around to watching the rest of them. Uh, American Dad. That's a great show. I don't care. Rushmore. My favourite was Anderson. See, I've got all the Star Wars ones here that I started, apparently. Jedi and Empire also, though. Revenge of the Sith. It's just the worst Star Wars movie. I don't get anyone says Revenge of the Sith is awful. It's the worst prequel, I should say. Not the worst Star Wars movie, because I haven't watched the Disney ones, and I hate I don't necessarily hate those movies because I haven't watched them, but I hate the way that Disney were like, oh yeah, the stuff you like is no longer canon. It's kind of the same bullshit which happened with um, the new Fallout series and Bethesda, who I can't stand. Can't be watching that garbage. Um, I mean, Disney Plus has some really good series. Let's look at my watch list. Let's look at my watch on my watch list. I can probably get some more audio going, I think. Watch this. Castle. Oh, yeah. Um, LA Confidential. The Beach. I hear the book of that. The Rocketeer. Because I want to see what the fuss is all about with the Rocketeer. I mean, not the fuss, because nobody cares about the movie now, but like it used to be a thing. Sideways. I need to watch Sideways with um, Paul Giamatti and um, Thomas Hayden Church in it. Stay. I mean, what? Ian McGregor and Ryan Gosling. That's quite good. JFK, Kevin Costner and JFK. I need to watch that. Another Spike Lee, He Got Game. The great Public Enemy song is the theme from that. Shallow Hell, classic. Never Been Kissed, I never watched that movie. I used to have a big thing for, um, I used to have a big thing for um, Drew Barrymore. Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion. I need to watch that. I haven't. I need to watch that movie. Good Morning Vietnam. Thin Red Line. Thin Red Line's not very good. I've watched, I've watched bits of it on TV and it's so boring. Days of Heaven is um, Alex Best. Firefly, I can say. Summer of Sam and the Spike Lee. I need to watch that. Michael Imperioli, uh, right there. Can I write it? Christopher. Christopher. Uh, what else is on here? I swear I'd have more on my watch list. Well, I suppose actually I take things off my watch list when I've watched them. So all those shows I love aren't on there. Uh, I could do one of these videos just like going through <laughs> Buffy. Every episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And just like saying what my opinion on all of them are. Because I've watched the show Inside Out. I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer so much. It's one of my favourite shows. I've watched season one like 10 times. It's just like so like campy, silly, summery kind of fun. Which the weather is not like today. Because. Okay. It's uh, all raining. Brilliant. Anyway. Yeah, Buffy. That's a great show. Season 2. That's my favourite. I haven't rewatched most of Season 3. That's one I kind of don't watch on rewatch. I don't know why. It's a dead man's party. Homecoming. I've rewatched Homecoming. And Band Candy, obviously. They're classics. I've also rewatched Revelations and Wonders Walk coming to this. I must have just done that because it was like next up. Oh. Uh, what's my the Zeppo is my favorite one of season three. 
it's just um it's just sad that it's like everyone else is saving the world and he's just off on his own adventure that's so funny season five because season five is one of the best if not probably that and season two are the best i like season six though i, I don't know a lot of people don't but i like season six This is a pretty, pretty good season. I, I still don't get that I hate about this season. What's more of a feeling in Tabula Rasa are in it? So like, how can you hate this season? It's got the musical episode and the memory loss episode, which are both classics. Gone's good as well, where Buffy goes invisible. That's a great episode. Um, yeah, these ones are all watched because I think I actually watched the show from this point onwards on Disney+. Plus. Seeing Red. If you're not a Buffy fan, you won't know. Um, if you know, you know. I don't actually hate that episode. I actually quite think that episode's really genius in a way. Though there's one scene which absolutely should have been rewritten. And if you know the episode, you know the scene I'm talking about. I think that is completely unnecessarily too far. But if you tip besides that, it's a great episode around it. It's just that one scene. But I don't think that's worthy of bringing out the whole episode. Also, people like love to criticise him. Um, People love to say stuff like it's Joss Whedon being misogynistic, even though it wasn't written by Joss Whedon, so I don't understand that. And I'm pretty sure during season six, wasn't he like preoccupied with Firefly and Angel? Like that was the season he had the least involvement with. It's literally Stephen S. Knight who wrote that. So take it out with Stephen S. Knight. Joss Whedon has many, many shortcomings, but he didn't write that episode. <laughs> I mean, I like season seven. Same time, same place. That's a great episode. With the gnarl. Oh, like this gremlin creature. It's really good. I think him is also really funny. The Love Spell episode. That's funny. Not as good as the Love Spell episode with Xander. Um, I mean, there's a lot of good episodes that season. I don't really get the hate. Season 4 is absolutely the worst season of Buffy. Most of these episodes are just totally whatever the harsh light that's a good one that, that's one of my favorites that's even fear itself is good as well it's a pretty good season overall i guess but like in terms of in terms of buffy it's the worst by far restless is great the, the description is Buffy experiences dreams of a strange savage woman and the cheese man. Do you want to explain that for anyone who's never seen that? I could do the same thing for my other favourite show, which is on Disney Plus. Um, the X Files, of course. I'm going to be wrapping up. I'll wrap up the video after this. I'll do a, do a scroll through the X Files. Then finish it. If you never watched the X Files, I highly recommend it. Um, but if you're used to like modern TV where everything's like a short season with like a plot that follows on, uh, don't go in expecting that. For X Files, it's nothing like that at all. There's like four episodes a season, which are like the main story. Um, I really hated it when I first watched it, but then I grew to like, okay, this is great. Uh, yeah, the pilot was classic. I might actually, I think I'm, that's what I think I'm going to watch after this. I might rewatch the pilot. Well, I've been meaning to rewatch Smallville's pilot as well, but just like, because I just like watching shows I love pilots after I've watched a lot of the show or finished the show. Squeeze, that's a classic, classic. Mulder and Scully search for a humanoid killer with a savage murder spree. So this guy can crawl. I feel like tight spaces, that's one of my favorite episodes. Conduit, that's great. The Jersey Devil, that's a good episode. Shadows, Ghost in the Machine, Ice, Ice is fantastic. Or a scientist that's a remote Alaskan outpost are killed by an alien parasite. It's like the thing. It's so good. I mean, Gender Bend is honestly not horrible. I don't hate that one. Season 1 also has Tombs, which is the follow up to Squeeze, which is just. Oh, it's so good. Season 2 is great as well. Little Green Man, The Host. Mulder and Scully pursue the Fluke Man, a mutant in the New Jersey sewer system. This whole season is so... There's, well, I suppose actually there are some bad episodes, but 
Irresistible. Irresistible's a fantastic one. Same with Dan's de Villette's, that's another great one. Season three is my favorite of the X-Files. You've got DPO, Jack Black's in that one. Clyde Brockman's Final Repose. Too Shy. Too Shy Shy. That's a great one. A mutant who targets overweight women who feeds on the fat of his victims. That's a great episode. I also love um, the one where he's on the train. That's great too. But which is the one? War of the Copper for ages. The agents discover that killer cockroaches may actually be alien robots. That's one of the best episodes. Syzygy's great too. The agents must find what's causing teenage girls to commit murder. It's like about astrology and stuff. It's a really good one. It's basically Chris Carter doing a Darren Morgan episode. Um, Pusher is another great one where it's the killer who like, tells people to do things and they do it. Where's my fa Here's my favourite episode of the show. Jose Chung's Mount of Space. Mulder and Scully prove a government cover-up of a UFO abduction. Season 3, episode 20. It's the best episode of the show. It's so good. Charles Nelson Riley is so good in that episode. I won't say anything about it because, but I'd highly recommend if you're going to watch one episode of The X Files, absolutely watch that one. Home, that's it. That's the very controversial one that makes me like sensitive or something. I just think it was aired like a warning. That's a great episode. Secret Smoking Man backstory one's good. I mean, most of these are good episodes. If I don't mention it, it doesn't mean that it's not good. Because they are good. Small Potatoes, that's hilarious. Season 5 is great as well. Season 6 is my other absolute favourite. Drive, Brian Cranston is great. Dreamland with uh, Michael McKean is also an amazing one. Uh, the Rain King I think is great. Aguamala, that's a really fun episode. Arcadia, Arcadia is one of my favourites. The agents inspect a series of deaths hampered by a conspiracy of silence where they have to move into like this uh, picturesque, picturesque like suburb and pretend to be a married couple. That's a really good one. And uh, the unnatural, the baseball one is also amazing. And Field Trip, where it's like psychedelic. And the Lone Goodman episode is great. Season 7 is good, but like I don't love it. Hungry is great. X-Cops. X-Cops is really great. X-Cops is great. It's basically an episode of Cops with Mulder and Scully. First person shooter is funny. Everyone hates it, but it's fun. Chimera is good. All things is awful. Hollywood AD is another one of my favourites. An X file becomes a movie and the agents find themselves distorted on film. <laughs> the genie one's good. I, I didn't mind season eight because I love Robert Patrick, so I liked seeing him as Doggett. I think season eight has some weaker episodes, but overall, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because I binged and I watched it really quickly. But I, I like season eight. I think it's her patience is great. So is Red Rum. Okay, some of those are very good. Uh, the Gift is great, though. And um, Alone is really good. And then the finale, Existence, is one of the best Exiles finales. But Season 9 is so bad. Season 9 is not good. It starts out okay, but... The Revival was okay as well. It was a horribly Islamophobic episode, but... Besides that... The first season's okay for the most part. Mulder and Scully make the wear monster is hilarious. Season 11. Season 11 had a familiar, which was a really scary one. And there's one where the Mulder and Scully go up against like artificial intelligence, which is pretty funny. And then there's a Mandela Effect episode as well. So I think I'm going to rewatch the x Files pilot. Thank you for joining me on this adventure to find something to watch. Uh, it's a longer video and I'm not going to be posting it on the day... I usually post, but I hope you're accommodating with that because I'm still learning and I promise I'll do that. So, um, yeah. Uh, stay beautiful and I'm going to watch The X-Files.